So what I'm dealing with now is a lot of, you know, it, it's, I hear you, my little Surrey, mommy's talking. So I'm dealing, I'm competing with online, online stuff now, you know, they're, they're flying and entertainers and girls from different cities that they're paying like $500 a night to party in Vegas and I'm dealing with you know people selling drugs and prostitution and I'm just like I'm out you know I just don't want to be in this environment and I just deal with dealing with this unhealthy stuff yeah also really sad because people get caught up in you know I don't know I don't want to get all super depressing or anything but a lot of people turn up dead and missing and murdered or commit suicide and it's just a really really unhealthy environment and I'm not just talking about you know sex trafficking or women I'm talking about men too I used to commute to Vegas on the weekends with a couple girls and guys and who worked in the nightclubs and hosted and all that with me and You know, some girls ended up disappearing or getting murdered and guys as well and are committing suicide. It's just a tough industry. It's not just here. It's also the entertainment industry in L.A. It's really, really, really tough industry. Anyway, and that's what I'm kind of dealing with some trauma I guess <laughs> and losing some friends um, who I were close to me that were roommates and guys I dated and people I worked with and <sighs> you know sad and um I'm just trying to get in the medical industry now. I think I'm going to get in the... It's going to be... It's not. It's just as depressing, I guess, the medical industry. But I think it'll be more stable. Um, yeah. But I need to make some some time to study and go train. So I'm in the process of minimizing everything. I sold my house. Um, I had to put a loan against it since the pandemic. So I lost the house and all the payments I put into it. And now I'm, I used to buy real estate and properties and I used to rent them and flip them and I lost all that. I'm selling my last, fixing up and selling my last property. And I'm just minimizing all my stuff. And one, because I can't afford to make the payments on everything now because of the economy. And I have to take time to go train and study and work minimum wage when I do train for or not even get paid if I open my own business you know if, if it's my business I'm not gonna be paying myself I've got employees I have to pay so in order to focus on just you know business and my studies I need to be able to get rid of everything and and not have 
anything else going on and just focus on that. So that's what I'm going through. And it's hard because I'm used to getting paid a lot for working long hours. And I don't know, I'm just, it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard starting over. And I've had to a couple times already. And I'm going through my midlife crisis, you know, now that I'm 48 going on 49 and I wanted a family and kids and it's too late for me to have that now and and um you know not being able to be to have kids or have biological kids at my age especially with starting a new business and most men want biological children they don't want to adopt you know, and I have to deal with that, and, and, um, just trying to avoid dating, I guess, and the drama, because I just, took me a year to get over the last one, and I just don't anymore, oh, there's drama in my life, I just want to focus on my studies and work so that's what's going on with me so don't worry I'm I'm not I'm gonna be okay I am a little down I know don't don't worry I'm not gonna like kill myself for anything um I have a lot I want to still accomplish I do miss my family I didn't get to see them this holiday um and I have big plans for my big 5-0. So I'm going to work really, really hard to do something special for that. And maybe my birthday in a few months for my 49th birthday. At least go to the spa and treat myself. But don't worry about me. I'm good. I'm just re-evaluating and reflecting and just minimizing. And it's just going through hard times but it's all very exciting because it's opening new doors and closing old ones and um yeah have a good week <laughs> I'm good don't worry 